So in this video, I will present a few features of the complex numbers, mainly con connected to complex multiplication. I will assume that you're familiar with some of the basics of complex numbers, such as the real and the imaginary part, um, the modulus and the argument, and also addition on the complex numbers. Um, sometimes people feel a little bit uncomfortable when they first encounter comp complex numbers. Um, maybe that's due to the termino ter terminology used, like complex and imaginary, or maybe it's because that the complex numbers are not lined up nicely on the real line, like all the other numbers um, we are used to, like the integers or the real numbers. But once we accept the fact that complex numbers can't be lined up in any reasonable way, and that each point on the complex plane simply represents a complex number which has a real part we usually call x and an imaginary part which we usually call y and we write it as x plus i y then we can work with the complex numbers just like with any any other numbers and in fact it turns out that complex numbers have in many respects much nicer features and often reveal much more about a mathematical problem um, than the real numbers do. And I hope you will see that in, in, in the course of this video. So when multiplying two complex numbers, it's actually very useful to move to polar coordinates. And which means that we think of a complex number, let's say z, here um, in terms of its argument, which is the angle with the x-axis, often named theta, and its modulus, often um, named r. And this complex number z, we can then write by Euler's formula as r times e to the i theta. And if you would want to relate this to the real and imaginary part, this would be r times cosine theta plus i sine theta. 